I'm uh, Police Commissioner Gordon, and uh, I go through hell in this piece, and uh, and uh, I had to come up with a lot of grunts and groans and screams, and and I have great concern for my daughter, who is the Batgirl, of course, as you know, and and I, you know, I try to I try to keep Batman on the straight and narrow, you know, keep him reined in because he can go a little crazy sometimes himself, especially when he's dealing with Big J, the Joker. <laughs> so how did you, what was your approach to Gordon? I've seen them, but uh, I like Gary Oldman. Yeah, fine, you know, um, but nothing like that. You know, I'm, uh, I, I'm not very good at impersonations anyway, so it wouldn't work. I, I just took it as a, a from a fresh approach, my my character, and uh, I tried to I tried to be a good father and a good friend to Batman and a good police commissioner, and that was my mission. So was that the appeal, the fatherly side? Of you no, know, the appeal was that you know I, I love the story, you know, the the killing joke, uh, the original graphic story, and. Uh, I've been a Batman fan since, you know, I can, eight, ten years old, right? Um, that's a long time ago. <laughs> and you know, for me, Kevin, Kevin will always be Batman. It's, he opens his mouth and that's it. <laughs> you know, he's, uh, he is, he's, in my mind, he's uh, my image of Batman. And um, so it was, a, it was a thrill just to be doing it with Kevin and, and the lovely Tara, who plays my daughter. And uh, the writing was great. Uh, the direction was great. And, and I, just saw the, I just saw this uh, for the first time a couple of days ago. And I was thrilled with it. I'm, it's, it's, it's a hell of a good movie. And um, it's very film noirish, like a, like a 40s very dark, good detective story, and uh, with some modern twists, and um, the characters are great, all the incidental characters are marvelous, uh, great, great actors, great voice actors, and they really, they really bring it. They, uh, they not only do the voice, you can feel the acting behind it, you know, and uh, that's pretty special for an animated film. Did you record individually, or were you all together? Individually, So the yeah. first time you saw everyone else's performance was kind of when you saw the movie? Kind of when we were, uh, uh, when we had to do some uh, ADR work, you know, we were able to see the movies, parts of it anyway, and, and some of the other characters in the scene with you, and you, and you were able to respond then, but... Uh, Originally doing it, we just uh, kept doing our lines over and over and tried to and tried to do them as well as we could and tried to improve on each tape. So what was your reaction when you finally got to see like, your voice compared to your I uh, I was a little I was a little leery of it, you know, because uh, Kevin has such a you know a commanding voice as Batman, and then Tara does such a wonderful job. That uh, I thought, you know, if I'm, I'm going to hear me. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to like me so much. But I turned out liking me a lot. So, <laughs> <laughs> just you know, you never know. You know, you feel like uh, maybe it's not going to be so great. It turns out to be all right. So I, uh, I was very, I was very pleased with it. Anything else? Who, who, who did what? No, uh, no, it was, well, I, I, don't, I don't know that she was there. I, um, I, the director was there, Sammy, and, um, and then there were a bunch of people in the control room, you know, the producers and writers, and, and they all put in their two cents, you know, and I tried to tune most of that out, and, uh, but uh, it was a good experience. A lot of the first cast was from the animated show. Like, I don't think so. you were Commissioner Gordon on the show. No. So what was it like? Was it a daunting thing when you're like, oh, we're going to do all the voice cast from the show, but you're stepping in for the What was that experience? 
Well, you mean that, that I was new to the whole thing and uh, well, just I was kind of the outsider? Yeah, I've been together before doing the show. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I, I walk around with those two. Yeah, but like they had done the TV show and, yeah, and your yeah. fans have been used to their voice and you're stepping in for the show. So is that, is that like a daunting thing to try to fill in for the other person? Well, I, guess you, I guess it could be to somebody else besides me. <laughs> Nothing, you know, I'm going to be 70 years old. Nothing's daunting to me anymore. <laughs> well, thank you. Do you have a favorite line from the film? Uh, my favorite line from the film... I think it would have to be, uh, we have to do this by the book. <laughs> Is this your favorite Batman story, or do you, what are your favorite Batman stories? I mean, it's one, yeah, certainly the, on the top of the list, yeah. I think it's uh, one of the darkest, you know, the, it's, uh, it's the R-rated, it's the R-rated Batman. It's no PG. And uh, I'm not so sure, you know, you'd want your little ones to <laughs> to view it. Maybe wait till they get a little bit bigger. Um, but uh, it, it's certainly a film for all of us. Wow. I'm assuming it's a lot darker than Batman you grew up with from your earlier years. Yeah, 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 yeah. There, yeah. A, that's what I meant by a few modern twists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You won't find some of the things that are done in this uh, on any of the comic book pages, that's for sure. Yeah. I don't want to say anything, but it rhymes with S-E-X. No, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't it good to kind of do it with the dog bird? It's been around for 75 years, so a lot My goodness, you know, we have HBO and Showtime and all. They do everything, so why can't we? And I think all the major networks have to follow suit one day too, soon. You know, I, 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 I'm doing this soap opera, kind of moonlighting on a soap opera also, called Young and the Restless, and they won't even let me say damn or bitch or bastard. And if, and if, you, if you do, they only let you say one or two of them per show. I thought, come on, you know, let's, 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 let's be real about it. and. Uh, Everybody else is doing it, and major networks have to follow suit, or else they can't compete. You watch a network show now, and it's like, ah. Am I, am I, am I killing my career right here <laughs> as I speak? Not that I wouldn't do a network show. <laughs> So going forward, you would uh, give him the chance to get a new voice, Commissioner Gordon. Oh yeah, in a, in a second. Yeah, I just I, I I love the whole project, and I'm so th I'm so thrilled and proud of the movie. I think when you see it, yep. Yeah. I mean, it's like it felt it felt just like a regular movie to me. You know, like a really good person movie, not just animation. Uh, it, it was wonderful. So. I recommend it highly, and uh, and also buy the DVD because I get a combo. Right? Yes. Okay. Did they talk to you at all about the fact that it's going into the theaters for that special showing and it was so lit up, fandom and so long, it's going to be extended? And what was that? Did you get a reaction about the fact that the fans are going to be so excited about this movie? I don't know about uh, you know how they're going to handle the, the the theatrical release, but I but I, I hope that it gets out. In, in, huh? Last, last question. The last question. I hope that it gets out. You know, in as many theaters as possible, and and stays in it as long as possible. Um, but I know it, the DVD is going to be a, a great release, and uh, I think any any fan of Batman will want it. Because I think it's uh, it, it epitomizes the whole Batman story. Okay, thank you. I think I'm done here.